We hear a lot these days about people looking for work, but what about people who already have a job but would prefer to have a different job? They're not happy where they're working. A new all online survey by the job placement firm Manpower finds that 84% of employees plan to look for a new job somewhere else in the new year. Now that is up in a major way from 60% who wanted to find a new job this time last year. So why are so many people working but looking for another job. Let's bring in Stephen Viscusi. He founded the Viscusi Group, an executive recruiting firm in New York. What's your reaction to this? I mean, we're in the middle of a very long, protracted economic slowdown. People should just yeah. be happy to have a job, right? So why are they all planning to look for another one? Well, Hala, first of all, they're happy to have a job, but they are definitely sick and tired of these bosses who are taking advantage of them mm -hmm. and utilizing them for very little money, making them work two or three jobs, and they've just about ha they've just had it. Uh, listen, we're going to find out uh, in a couple of months that the recession has ended. It's time to treat people like people again, get people back to work. So some of the tips that they should be doing, and you can find by following me on Twitter at Workplace Guru, is cloak your resume go online now start looking and cloak your resume so your boss doesn't know you're looking you're still lucky to have a job 84 percent of those people who are looking are lucky to have a job but you can't blame them for wanting but, to look today yeah it's interesting because you're saying essentially that in times of economic slowdown bosses might take might take their employees for granted essentially saying uh work more just be happy you have a job and those companies that end up doing well whether there's a slowdown or not i guess value their employees regardless of the environment is that correct well Yes, that is correct. And in the last three years, there has been a legitimate slowdown. The slowdown is now changing, and although unemployment continues, it will change in 2011. So it's time to start looking slowly, cautiously. Don't take your job for granted. Work as hard as you've been looking. Uh -huh. But it's time to cloak your resume and put it online and start looking. It's part of the reason, too, that, that people have taken jobs sort of beneath their qualifications because they needed something, anything, to make ends meet. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure that those are the unhappy people. Those are probably the people that are grateful. It's the people that have had their jobs during this recession where the boss has said, look, we've had to eliminate other people. We're going to have you work two or three shifts. We're going to have you do other jobs. We can't give you a raise. There's no bonus this year. It's just disgraceful. Retail figures have been up this, this year. It's the best retail we've had in a number of years. The economy is definitely getting better. There are more jobs for people out there today. And it's time that the bosses just became honest with their employees. So it's the ones that have been the survivors, the lucky survivors that have their jobs. Now, let me remind people, you're yeah. lucky to have those jobs. No one's saying take them for granted. Right, absolutely. But well, that said, that said, though, Stephen, I have to say, once the economy picks up again, it might be employers who've taken advantage of their employees who end up without the kind of qualified workforce they need. You're absolutely right. Those bosses who have absolutely been taking advantage of these people are the ones who are going to be suffering. They're the ones that are going to be losing those people. 84% is a big number. That's up 20% from last year. That's because this year was just torture for people. Right, Their 20, bosses yeah. just tortured them to death. It is a very interesting figure, I have to say. Quickly, what impact on the unemployed? I mean, somebody looking for a job today. G those of you that are looking for the job, this, one of the secrets, again, you can see this on my Twitter, Workplace Guru, is lowball yourself and go out there. The impact is that just be, people are so miserable in the jobs that they have now, go steal one of those jobs from one of those miserable people Lowball, that what? hate their Pro jobs and hate their bosses. you got to price yourself uh, sort of to sell? Below <laughs> market value to get a job today. Get okay. in the door and find those uh, uh, people where those unhappy jobs are and go and steal them from your friends because there are plenty of people that are unhappy out there today. Steven Viscusi is also the author of Bulletproof Your Job, Four Simple Strategies to Ride Out the Rough Times and Come Out on top at work. And, and I've been wanting to say happy holidays, holla. <laughs> happy holidays to you as well and happy new year.